to know what kind of therapy to administer and where, we need to be able to diagnose the disease first. Biosensing devices can do exactly this. They can give us a little bit of idea of biochemical cues or even tell us if there is something not right about certain cells. Biosensing devices have also been made extremely sensitive in the past decades by introduction of nanostructured materials. And we do a lot of this in our daily research. Let's go and have a look how Will and Suraj design their biosensing devices using some of the nanostructured materials. As a physicist by training, I was kind of thrown in at the deep end working on uh, lots of different biomolecules uh, in the Fruc lab. So in particular, I work with DNA and we use this DNA to design our own bio inks and the inks we use in an electrohydrodynamic inkjet printer. So this printer lets us print very, very small droplets down to the femtoliter scale and allows us to pattern many, many, many microarrays onto wafers such as this. So you can see how small the wafers are that we print the arrays onto. So what we use this for is we functionalize the surface and after functionalization, when the DNA is printed onto the surface, it allows the covalent attachment of the DNA. So this means that it's fixed in position and gives us a nice sensing platform for anything from metal ions to pathogens. So this work that we're doing now on the, the silicon wafer kind of paves the way for us to develop novel sensing platforms on photonic crystal devices. And we're actually going to move on to using proteins uh, in specific antibodies. So I work on these simple screen printed electrode devices which can be easily modified with bioreceptors that can help to identify signals coming from cancer cells when compared to normal cells. And we use these simple sensors to uh, identify patients at risk of esophageal cancer. I like that this project is at the intersection between molecular biology, nanotechnology and bioelectronics. Uh, I believe a similar type of electronic biosensors will play a huge role uh, in personalized medicine and early cancer detection in the future.